everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two teams here looking to find a way to win. It's the Bears coming in at one and four, going up against the Jaguars, who come in at two and two. With that, let's get out to Soldier Field. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week. play gets blown up they'll lose yardage back at the 17 it's a loss of two there bringing up second down sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy you know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the nfl so do you decide to keep smashing against them or do you decide to throw the ball here on second down elliot and all the way down inside the five to the four it's a nice pickup of 12 yards and it gives him a first and goal so good for the Buckeyes last year, and he's taken that from the college game, showing some glimpses of it here in the NFL. How about his last season with Ohio State? Over 1,800 yards, only one game where he didn't get over 100. Remember, he demanded the ball from then on out. I think they listened to him, and they were smart to do so. And now they're giving it to him here on the next level. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action.
the gun. It's Griffin. Now look out. Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. The Jaguars offense. Thomas rolls and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him a couple on the carry there second and eight. Tough day tough sledding right there and it's been that way the entire game not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah you're right it's been that way all afternoon didn't get a whole lot better there. They stay on the ground rolls again and he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and they're left with a third and eight. Yeah, I think the blitz there really disrupted the draw. Yeah, and it's usually when you catch them in a blitz, the draw works pretty well. If you're the offensive coordinator right now, that's visor throwing time, isn't it? Because that's supposed to work in a big way. That's complete right around the eight. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Thank you. 
They come out here in the eye. First down, this is Rawls. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Face mask. Defense. Face mask penalty, and Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle, so you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. Now Wilson. That's caught at the three. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It'll be a three-yard game, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. From back at the three now, this is third and goal. On third and goal, Wilson surveying the field. And this is going to be incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it's fourth down. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.